Delivery is a little bit of 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 These premature babies have been affected by retinopathy of prematurity, a leading cause for infant blindness. Infants born way before 35 weeks, weighing less than 2 kgs, are prone to retinopathy of prematurity, popularly known as ROP. ROP causes blindness if not diagnosed and treated at the right time. But ROP blindness is largely preventable with some care, precaution and timely attention. Retinopathy of prematurity is a vascular disease caused due to incomplete vascular growth of the retinal vessels. Normal retinal blood vessels begin to develop from the optic nerve in the retinas when the baby is still in the mother's womb. This process starts around the third month or tenth week of conception and completes only at term. If a child is born premature, then the vessels have not had sufficient time to grow and stop short at birth. ROP's genesis is multifactorial. Several risk factors associated with premature babies like unmonitored oxygen, sepsis, intraventricular hemorrhage, anemia, thrombocytopenia, jaundice and others have been reported to cause ROP. ROP has five stages. Stage 1 is a fine line that demarcates the retina between the part where blood vessels have grown and the part that does not have blood. In stage 2, the line progresses to form a ridge which has height and volume. If it further progresses into stage 3, abnormal blood vessels grow over this ridge and begin to bleed. Treatment must be performed at this critical stage or just prior. In stage 4, the retina is detached, first at the periphery and then involving the center of vision. In stage 5, there is complete retinal detachment, scarring and distortion of the whole retina, which leaves very little useful vision. As treatment, laser photoablation is performed by selectively focusing and targeting laser spots to the abnormal vascular retina. This reduces the concentration of intraocular inflammatory agents which are responsible for the progression of the disease. Laser treatment is comfortably performed under local anesthesia in the NICU under the supervision of the pediatrician or nurse to monitor the vitals of the baby. The procedure is most often completed within an hour. Post-treatment, the babies are discharged from the NICU after a brief stabilization with the advice of topical medications for a few days. Follow-ups at definite intervals to monitor the progress of the treatment are essential. I 
ನರು ನಾಡಿಗಳು ಅವರು ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಕಟ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಸರ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದು ದಪ್ಪ ಆಗೈತನ ಸರ್ ಅದನ್ನು ತೆಗಿಬೇಕಪ್ಪ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಅಂತ ಅಂದಿದ್ರು ಸರ್ ಚುನ್ಯಾಗ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮಾನ್ಯ ಸತ ಬಂದಾಗ ತೋರಿಸ್ದಾಗ ಭಾಳ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಸರ್ of the 2.7 crore babies born each year in india 21 lakh are below 2 kg of weight nearly half of these premature babies that is over 10 lakh babies are prone to rop that can cause permanent irreversible blindness over 1.5 lakh babies are estimated to require treatment ROP must be treated as soon as it reaches the threshold for treatment. Once reached, the treatment must be delivered within 48 hours. But with the limited expertise available and the omnipresent nature of the disease, it is almost impossible to reach every needy baby. 3 mahina nantar kalale ki tala dole disat nahi mano. Premature zale te ho saga checking ho hote ch. डोळ्याचं पायाचं हार्टचं सगळं चेकिंग झालं तर कळत आहे आम्हाला तर काय डॉक्टरचं तेवढं नॉलेज नसतं आहे डॉक्टरांकडे असत आहे तेवढंच हे त्यांनी काय सजेशन देतात त्याच्यावर नऊ तिंगलं आगीत आहे इष्ट दिन थाय इंत गोत्ता इल्ला उनगे नाव मूर तिंगळ तोरसबेकु अंत हेळिदारे नान बरता इदीन मूर तिंगळ ऐद तिंगळ आगली नन मग चनाद्र साकु नन कष्ट नान एष्टे कष्ट आगली नान तोरसबेकु अंत नन आसे टू अड्रेस दिस इश्यू the national rural health mission karnataka with total technical and expert inputs from bangalore based narayana netralaya post graduate institute of ophthalmology who pioneered the cause of rop in india have adopted the first ever tele rop network karnataka internet assisted diagnosis of rop kidrop since 2009 Kidrop uses trained technicians to visit rural centers to examine premature infants using a special digital wide field camera the red cam shuttle images captured in these centers are processed stored analyzed and triaged using the principle of pattern recognition they are uploaded on a special hardware software platform to be remotely viewed and screened by the rop experts using PCs, tablets and smartphones anywhere anytime. Tablets have made the process of viewing the images and reporting possible within 90 seconds. They also provide better resolution, simultaneous images over time, over episodes of the same baby or various babies for comparison. Both diagnosis and treatment happens in the rural periphery itself without the infant having to be shifted to the city. Kidrop presently covers over 18 districts of Karnataka. Each zone of 6 districts is serviced by independent teams trained at Narayana Netralaya. The team is capable of performing red cam imaging sessions in the outreach centers. with assistance from local trained ophthalmologists and ophthalmic assistants two mobile units with red cam and other equipment travel in a fixed schedule to cover over 54 neonatal care centers making kidrop the world's largest tele rop network the recent addition to kidrop is decision support on the mobile platform that provide more information by using some customized image enhancement tools which help the clinician in routine work and research possibilities effective multitasking on handheld device is another paradigm shift in modern telemedicine since inception about 25000 imaging sessions have been completed under kidrop on an average 27 to 38% of the screened babies were found to be suffering from ROP. Babies in need of laser were treated free of cost. National Rural Health Mission Karnataka in collaboration with Narayana Netralaya has decided to scale up Kidrop to more districts of the state and to other states of the country. Our objective is to bring down infant mortality. 
So for that we are making lot of efforts. Cases where uh, the children is below two, k uh, two kgs of weight are also now uh, surviving in the system. So when they are surviving, they are exposed to various kind of vulnerabilities. Retinopathy of prematurity is a major problem which they may face if they are not being attended at the infant stage itself. So we need to take it up as a stage challenge and we need to upscale it for the whole state. Kidrop is very successful. We are able to screen almost all the children who are born underweight and they are being followed. If they require surgical intervention, we are associating ourselves with Nara in Netralia and we are doing the surgical interventions and we are able to be a successful model for all other PPP initiatives. While the government will provide for the equipment, its maintenance and team salaries, Narayana Netralia's contribution would be free training, image reading and treatment. We would like to integrate this ROP program with the newborn care and make model districts so we can replicate these things in other districts all over the country. We will be extremely happy to associate ourselves with the any organization, be it government or non-governmental. I feel this is a ticking time bomb and any, any form of blindness, especially if it is preventable and even more important when it's in a child, must and should be prevented. That is our aim and that we are willing to go to any extent to do that. Infant eye screening should become a standard practice like vaccination for a newborn. Every at-risk infant should be screened for ROP within one month of birth. ROP is a disease managed by ophthalmologists but really it's, it's a convergence kind of a disease because neonatologists and pediatricians are the ones who really take care of these low birth weight premature babies to begin with. The emotional bonding that a mother has with a gynecologist, you know, this is something that we can exploit. I think it goes a long way because at that critical time when a mother is sensitized to such an important piece of information coming from her very own gynecologist, it makes a huge difference. Our long term plan is to eventually create doctors who are capable of handling this treatment at the district level itself. More ophthalmologists and pediatricians should be trained and made aware of ROP. Early detection and prevention of infant blindness necessitates nationwide expansion to include every center that deals with premature births. This mammoth task can be accomplished with collaboration of private hospitals, social entrepreneurs, and government backup. Only a nationwide program on the model of Kidrop will ensure that each of our precious children see the light of the day.